What's going on guys? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel and welcome back. In this video, we're doing a review of the Gerson MC14 G84. It's an all metal 380 ACP handgun. Let's check it out, let's have some fun. Now before we get into it, I wanna give you guys a reminder of two things. I have a sample size of one. This is the only gun that they sent me to review. If it performs, it performs. If it doesn't perform, it doesn't perform. I can only rate my experience based off of the gun that I have in hand. The other thing is, this is not gonna be a high round count review. It's not gonna be about longevity or long time durability. It's gonna be how it performs for how many rounds I shoot it. All right, let's get to it. Let's see what's inside the box. It comes in this cute little carrying case. I'm gonna open it with these tabs. And then here we go, instruction manual a lock. I have a whole crate full of these things now. And then of course you got your gun, your 13 round magazine, and you got yourself a little cleaning brush right here. That's what it comes with. That's it. Let's talk about some of the features real quick on this MC14 G84. So the G84 has an ambidextrous safety on the back. You can actuate it even with the hammer up um, from both sides of the gun. That's what ambidextrous means. Now the magazine release is also reversible. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can switch this around to whatever your preference is. I like, I keep it standard, I'm a righty. A couple cool features that differentiate this from some of the other competition out there. It's a lightweight aluminum frame. And then the barrel and slide are both machine steel. When it comes down to machining or tooling marks, I don't see any at all. So it actually feels like a really well-built gun. You're getting pretty much a clone of that Beretta Cheetah 84. So this is a double stack 380 magazine and it holds 13 rounds in the magazine, plus of course one inside that tube. So you got a 14 round gun, chambered in 380. And it's actually, it's a really cool size. Like if you look at that, it's basically about the size of my hand with my fingers spread out. So it's a it's a pretty compact little gun. So this is a Gerson. This is imported by a company called EAA. You've probably heard of it. I've actually done a video on one of the 10 millimeter witnesses before. So overall, it's, it's, um, it's a Turkish gun. That's how they're able to keep those prices down a lot is because they are imported and not manufactured in the US or Italy or any of that. It's manufactured in Turkey. Then it's imported to EAA down in Florida. So now I'm gonna talk about what's the concept of use, what's the point of this gun. I'm gonna say it's, it, it kind of caters to that nostalgia market. I think when you're looking for something that's a good self-defense gun, something that's sized like this, you could probably do something that's a little, um, probably something chambered in nine millimeter to be honest. But if you're looking for a Beretta Cheetah clone that's affordable and well built and shoots very well for what it is, I think that's the market that it's gonna be going towards. So for that person that just wants to have something different in the collection, this is definitely different. This isn't your standard polymer gun. It is a self-defense gun. I would say it's it's compact, it's functional, it shoots very well, and I would trust this as a self-defense gun. I just feel like when you have something um, sized like this, you could probably, you can get something in the nine millimeter category which is gonna have more power uh, than this guy right here. Shield Plus Performance Center is smaller than this and has the same capacity as this, except it's a full size nine millimeter. And I'll be completely honest, they have about the same recoil impulse on both those guns too. Yes, you can buy this for a self-defense gun, but you might be better off with something a little more powerful. Let's talk about overall performance of the MC14 G84. All right, so when I first did my first couple mags, I'm like, dude, that's kind of painful. Like it, it, I know it's a 380. Now it's not a heavy gun, but 
even on a small little package like this, even a 380 can snap a little bit. So I'm like, man, that's kind of painful. But then I realized it was really about my grip. When I shoot a gun, I'm used to choking up very high. So my finger, my thumb is right here. My thumb's resting on that safety. Now with the way this is meant to be shot, you can kind of see your thumb cut out on the grip right here. That's really where they want you to put your thumb on this and then it doesn't become painful at all. So really it's just chewing into my thumb. When I lowered my thumb, lowered my grip a little bit, um, it got a lot more comfortable to shoot. Now comparable to a, a 9mm, I'll tell you guys what, there really isn't a huge recoil impulse difference between a 9mm and a 380. Now a 380 is a, basically a short 9, right? But they feel almost the same. I'm about 150 rounds through this MC14 G84 and it it's chewed up everything no issues no reliability issues performance the sights seem to be right on point i'm able to hit my targets just fine most of the targets i'm shooting at are silhouette targets and i'm hitting them no problem uh, rarely do i get a miss now if i'm shooting the smaller paddles on that dueling tree sometimes i'm kind of bouncing around that paddle a little bit now i'm going to give this a performance rating so my rating for performance overall that's going to be between reliability and shootability i'm going to give that probably seven stars so now i'm going to try this out in double action for the first trigger pull so there is no decocker on this it is loaded the safety is off you can't release the hammer with the safety on what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop the safety i'm going to get my thumb firmly on that hammer i'm going to hit the trigger a little bit slowly release it until all right so now we're on the double action trigger so let's see how that first double action pull is And then, of course, it goes to single action after. So the double action, single action trigger pull feels actually really nice. It's light. The double action pull is long, as a double action typically is, but it's smooth. It doesn't creak. It doesn't grind. It's, um, it's a good, smooth, long pull. So obviously, this is going to be the single action trigger pull. But let's go ahead and let's do a pull test. So here I am. Here's your take up right over here. All right, so at the wall right here, let's see where we go. That's actually, it's an extremely crispy trigger pull. There's no creep or anything on that trigger. You have your take up and then you have your wall. That's it. So it's actually a really nice trigger on this guy. Now the double action is much longer. You can see that trigger resets way far up towards the front of the trigger guard. So let's go ahead and pull all the way back. And I can feel that's the wall right there. And then that's it. So even the double action, you can kind of stage and you can kind of predict and stage the trigger on a double action pull, which is pretty good too. So let's check out that reset. Pull the trigger. All right, let's see. Here's a reset. All right, reset takes you right back to that wall with no creep. So the reset feels nice too. There's an audible reset there as well. That's overall, it's a pretty decent trigger. All right, so let's talk comfort now. Overall, it's a pretty comfortable gun. The ergonomics are so-so. Now that's because I'm used to some of the newer stuff that comes out. Now if you guys haven't noticed, this looks very strikingly familiar or similar to the Beretta Cheetah 84. That's because it pretty much is. So overall comfort is it actually fits in the hand pretty well for a small gun. It does have a short grip, but the magazine that it comes with right here does have a super, it has a huge extension on the bottom. So when you put that magazine in, it does cup your pinky in pretty well to give you a full handful of gun. Now we're gonna get into the cost category right now. I'm gonna rate this on the budget. How budget friendly, how well priced is this pistol? Now with the cost of this gun, I wanna say I believe the MSRP said around 385. I'll put the correction on the screen if I'm wrong. Now, this is less than 400 bucks. You're getting an all metal, double stack, 380 handgun, pretty much a Beretta Cheetah clone for under 400 bucks. This is a fun size gun, meaning it's small. I love small guns. The quality seems just fine. It is a Turkish import, but I'm gonna rate this thing probably an eight out of 10 stars. It's priced very well for its category and what you're getting. So um, well done. This is a cool gun for the price. All right, now I'm gonna give the MC14 an overall rating. And now this is gonna be kind of like an X-Factor slash cool 
rating. In general, how do you feel about the gun after you've shot it, after you've purchased it? How do you generally feel about that gun? An eight out of 10 stars too, because it's not boring. Now, what I mean by boring is I've got lots of polymer guns that are all kind of the same, you know, maybe different triggers, uh, different feels here and there, but in general, they're all pretty much the same category of gun. This is something that's a little bit different. I don't have many 380s. I have a couple 380s, but not a whole lot. And this one is way different than all the other 380s that I have. It's different than all the other nine millimeters I have. It's just a different gun that adds that cool wow factor to my collection. No, it's not a Beretta Cheetah but it's like a Beretta Cheetah and it still looks cool. And I'm not a brand snob, I'm not picky. I don't want 30 Glocks in my safe, I want a variety. I want a bunch of cool different stuff. In my short experience with the EAA firearms, like I said, I, I tested out that Witness 10 millimeter. Um, it didn't perform very well. Once we changed out the springs uh, to a heavier recoil spring, it actually functioned well. That's a video, I wanna say it's two or, it's probably three years old now. Um, but I mean, this Gerson, has been very impressive to me. So overall, it's a really cool gun for an extremely affordable, budget-friendly price, and it performs well. So this could be a good self-defense option um, for somebody that just wants something different. This is pretty different. So, and it feels nice overall. I love the weight. It's a good balanced feel to the gun. Really good trigger pull. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please, in the comment section below, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'd appreciate getting the word out to other people that might not be into guns or don't know much about them. Some people that might be curious. Subscribing, leaving a comment, and leaving a thumbs up helps YouTube know that this video is actually worth something. And they might, just maybe just might, push this out to other people that aren't in the gun industry. So let's not turn this into an echo chamber. Let's let this spread. Normal people can be fans of guns and we don't have to be cold blooded killers out there. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your patronage. I appreciate you guys following me. Take care.